Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mackenzie, if you're new to my channel, and I am sorry I've been a little MIA on my channel recently, but summer has been really crazy with work, I've been at a music festival, I recently just got my wisdom teeth removed, so if my face looks like swollen or like bigger, that is why, and if I sound funny, that's why. Um, so because I got my wisdom teeth removed, I was feeling a little down, and I was like, you know what Mackenzie? You need some retail therapy to make yourself feel better. So after my surgery that day, I decided to go on to Sephora, which probably wasn't the smartest idea because I spent quite a bit of money. But yeah, so I did a little um, Sephora shopping. So today I have a Sephora haul for you. And I ordered this stuff online because I don't really have a Sephora like close to where I am. So it's just easier to order online. And yeah, so this is the damage I did for my retail therapy. So let's just get right on into the video. So one of the first products I got, I have been looking at um, getting an eye cream for a long time just because I have some fine lines under my eyes and I just want to prevent them from becoming like bigger wrinkles and I don't want to look old anytime soon. So I've been looking at different like eye creams and stuff that I should be getting and I decided on choosing this Clinique one. It's called All About Eyes. It's a hydrating cream gel that diminishes the look of circles, shadows, puffs, and lines. It's just this little jar right here. And it looks just like that. So yeah, I've been wanting an eye cream for a while just because I think it's important to keep up with your skin. Like skincare, like good skincare products cost quite a bit of money. Like they will cost you more. But you only have, like the skin that you have, you're going to have this for the rest of your life. You don't get like a second set or anything like that. So I want to try and take care of it the best I can. The next product I decided to pick up was this Too Faced Hangover Face Primer. And it says it's a re replenishing face primer and it's silicone free. Whose skin's radiance promote elasticity and help hydrate while locking down makeup for fresher, longer, and a more flawless wear. So normally for primers that I go for, I normally go for like a mattifying primer or I'll go for um, one that will fill in my pores because I have like fairly large pores on my face. But recently I've been noticing my skin is fairly dry and that doesn't look cute under makeup if you have like dry flaky skin. So I decided I would pick this one up because it's had really great reviews. And I just got the smaller bottle of it to see if I like it because there was like a bigger one and then there's this smaller one. So yeah, I just picked up this size to see if I like it and I tried it today. So I have this on, like the primer underneath my foundation today and it felt really nice. So I'm going to see as the day goes on if it, how it wears and stuff, but yeah, so far really enjoy it. So the next product I picked up was this Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation and it says it's an invisible cover foundation and I am in the shade Y205. I believe it's the lightest shade, probably is because I'm the lightest in everything, but it looks just like this. And I'm like a foundation junkie, like I love collecting different foundations and like because they all have different finishes and stuff and I just like trying different foundations and I've been looking at this one for a while and I finally decided as the anesthesia was wearing off from my uh, surgery that you know what Mackenzie you should just go for it. So I decided to even though it kind of broke the bank a little, I did. I am wearing it today on my face. I love the finish of it. It's definitely, it says it's a medium to full coverage, but I would definitely go with it's more on the medium side because I have a full coverage foundation and it, it has like, it's way, has way more coverage than this one does. But also I've noticed my um, acne has been getting better. So this foundation is kind of looking pretty good on my skin just because I don't have like a lot of breakouts to cover up with a full coverage foundation. So this is the first time I've worn this foundation and so far I like it, but just like the primer, I'll have to see how it wears throughout the day to see if I really like it or not. So I saw this little set of these Bite Beauty Amuse, I think they're called the Amuse Bouche lipsticks. Yeah, so it's the perfect pair Amuse Bouche lipstick. That's what this product is. So it comes with two colors. It comes with rhubarb and it comes with thistle. And I already have, um, it's like a matte lip crayon by Bite Beauty and I absolutely love it. And I've heard a lot of good reviews about their, I'm going to butcher the name again, the Muse Bouche lipstick like formula that is supposed to be really good. And I really liked these two colors. I'll show you what they look like. So this was like a cute little set. 
it was fairly, like, it was, like, pricey because everything at Sephora is pricey, but, like, it wasn't overly expensive. Like, I think this was $18. And I got to try two different little lipsticks. So, it was kind of just, like, a cute little set. This is what the lipstick packaging looks like. So, it just looks like this. And it has a little, um, white logo right here on the side, which I think is really cute. So I have two of these. The first co color is called Rhubarb. So it looks just like this. It's like this pretty berry mauve color. And I think it will be perfect for the fall time. Both of these colors I think will be perfect for the fall time. So that was Rhubarb. And the other color is called Thistle. And this is like more of a, it's a mauve color I would say, but it's more of like a purpley gray mauve color. Like, I think these both of these colors are going to be great for fall. And especially with my like fair um skin tone i think the colors would look really good like with my complexion i get to try two of them so why not spend your money so this is kind of like a boring blah, blah blah product it's not nothing special but i picked up a new beauty blender i opened it and used it today because you want to see what my other one looks like this is how you know i needed to buy a new one so this is the brand new one so this is the color it's supposed to be right Keep in mind this one's wet, so it's going to be, like, it's damp, so it hasn't dried down yet, so it's going to be bigger. But, so this, my old one would, like, get to this size, but look at the color difference. This is the color it's supposed to be, and this is the color it is, even though I've washed it a bunch of times. So that's how you know how old it is, and that's how you know you need to get a new beauty blender. So I was like, Mackenzie, it is, tw like, 30, almost $30 for a sponge. But it's a great sponge, and you can't be using this dingy old, probably bacteria-filled sponge anymore. And it wasn't performing this great anymore either, so I was like, Kenzie, you go ahead, you get yourself a new beauty blender. So that's what I did. The other one's probably going to go in the trash, because why would I use a disgusting old one anymore? So the last product I picked up was this Sephora Cream Lip Stain, and it is in the shade Marvelous Mauve. It's number 13. It's what I'm wearing on my lips today. I know it's summertime, but I want, really wanted to try this out today, so I tried quite a few of these products that I got today, but I really wanted to try it out and see what it looks like. I think this would be a perfect color for fall, but I think it would also pair with like a lot of different looks. Like right now I have like a peachy, orangey, red eye look going on, but I think you could also wear this with like a cool tone color, like cool tone eye look, and you can just mix and match this color with a lot of different eye looks, so I like it for that reason because it's very versatile. Um, I've had this on for I'd say about like two hours now and it looks the same as when I applied it. I know before I've tried the Sephora cream lip stains and they kind of got like bunched up as it went on, like the day wore on. So I'm going to see how this goes, but I also noticed that I think the reason they were like getting all like crusty and like crumbly I guess you would say and bunching up on my lips I think it's because you can only really apply one coat you can't do more than one coat or else they just get gross so that's what I did today and so far it's looking good and then also like after you eat I find that also they can get like kind of nasty but I haven't ate yet but once I do I'll see how it looks but as of right now I really like it I hope that it stays good but yeah, I think it's a perfect color. This is fairly, like, this is one of their more cheaper options, like, more affordable options for lip colors at Sephora since it's the Sephora brand. And yeah, I think it's really pretty. So those are all the products I bought, but I also have some samples here because that's also a reason I like ordering online because you can choose, like, three different samples and then if you spend, like, I think normally it's, like, a minimum of $25, they have, like, promo codes that you can get, like more deluxe size samples. So the first three samples I picked out is this Glam Glow Volcasmic Matte Glow Moisturizer. So this is like the packaging it comes in and I believe it's this little like it looks like this circle bead thing right here and from what I've read so far all you do is you wet it with water and then it I think I'm not sure I'll have to read it again but I'm pretty sure you wet it with water and then it kind of turns into a cream that you use as a moisturizer all over your face so I'm excited to see if I like that and then I also got this living proof um perfect hair day in shower styler so I've tried stuff by the living proof hair brand before and I really like it so I was like why not Mackenzie go for it and then this sample I think this is a pretty sweet sample that they're giving out 
and I am really excited to try this. This is the Smashbox B Legendary Liquid Metal and Liquid Pigment like samples. So you get two of the liquid pigments, so they're like liquid lipsticks. So two um, liquid pigments, so they're regular liquid lipsticks, and these ones are the liquid metal. So you can see like they have more of a metallic finish, the top two, and then the bottom two have more of like your regular, they probably dry down matte or glossy. No, I think they're glossy actually. But the other two will have like a metallic finish and the bottom two won't. I'm really excited to try this. It's called Crims Crimson liquid metal one at the top this bright red one I think that's gonna look hella good and I think these two bottom like very mauve colors are gonna look really good as well so I'm excited to try this out and I think this was like a pretty sweet sample that they were giving out for free also after you spend a certain amount of money there's like those promo codes to get other samples so I decided to use the promo code to get this Urban Decay Vice lipstick like sample set and I think they went pretty all out with this sample set because it's just like the Smashbox one. It's like you use a lip brush or whatever to put it on. But for this one, it's 24 of the Vice Liquid Lipsticks that I get to try out. So I have like 24 different samples and I could probably get one or two uses out of these. So I think that's pretty sweet that I get to try out 24 different lipsticks. These lipsticks also come with a bunch of different finishes. This one comes with Sheer Shimmer, Comfort Matte, Mega Matte. Metal metalized cream sheer so yeah so you get a combination of like metal metalized metallized I don't know what the word is uh, a cream finish a sheer finish and like matte finishes so that's excited and I think that's like this would be really fun you have some like nice dark fall colors some neutral colors and then some more pop of color fun colors so really excited. So those are all the products that I purchased from my Sephora haul and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe down below if you enjoyed watching this video just so you're notified when I post future videos and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!